apparently, okay, apparently I'm, I can't go live on YouTube because I have to have at least 50 people to liking me. And I don't get myself out there very much. Um, decided to go off myself up today. Um, this lipstick is absolutely crap though. And just for the record guys, it's not actually the lipstick I sell. So hey, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so lots been going on with Raven Co. Um, I, uh, as people that have likes my page on Facebook and I do actually see my, my YouTubes and everything and um, you know, have gone onto my website from the search and stuff. You guys do you like it? You know that um, I've started Raven, Raven Co. Local, which is um, I do wholesale from from Ipswich, Brisbane Metro, um, and I'm working with Punk Rate. Um, I've decided to not work with Killstar. I love Killstar clothing. I know, I, and I always will. There's nothing wrong with Killstar clothing. It's just at this point of my life. Um, I've got too much going on to collaborate with an extra person, like an extra company. So, um, yeah, I'm with Punk Rave. Um, the head of Punk Rave is absolutely wonderful, understanding person. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, um, I'm absolutely just loving it. Um, I have to really get myself out there more though. I need to have to get advertisement out. Um, to get some sales done, guys. I really need to get, I need to sell some of this stuff. Hey, I have these really nice jeans that I got. They're embroidered. They've got a skeleton, and like they're, they're skeleton jeans and they're embroidered. And they're absolutely amazing. And I've like slashed these, these jeans, because they're in small. I was, I did order medium, but apparently, um, they couldn't read me uh, like M. I don't know, but um, I did order like I think it was like ten, like twenty, twenty small, twenty medium. Anyway, I got forty small. So hey, you get that? It, it happens. Um, not, I'm not mad. Um, you know, stuff like this happens sometimes in business. Um, these would be prox. These these would be approximately. <clears throat> Probably, I would say, like, whenever I look at small, I'm like, because I like, I compare the, the sizes to myself, and I'm, I'm very big, like, my hips, are, my hips are wide, so I'm like, oh gosh, you know, no, that wouldn't fit me, like, that'd probably be like a, a size six, but really, ultimately, it's not really a size six. Um, I'm just too vain. Um, we would, I would probably say that these jeans would, um, approximately range from probably, like, um, a... 10 to 12 so if you are a 10 to 12 in your jean size um by all means um i've slashed them down i think they're like 30 from the top of my head i think i've slashed them down to about 39 from not even that i think i think it's like 38 something um you'd have to look on my facebook page guys um but um I got Facebook page working after all this time. It was frustrating the hell out of me because literally I could not get this, I couldn't get all my new, my new products on Facebook for a long, 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 long time. Um, so this had set me back quite a bit. <clears throat> yeah, so I, I got set back quite a bit because of this, this, and I was really, I was reaching out to, to, Mar to Marta, I, now um i was reaching out to facebook numerous times just to know about like i'm saying you know i need help to get my products on, my new products on facebook long story short they're on there now i've just got to like i've got to tweak them a bit today um not all of them will be up there i have to do some price adjustments especially with the ukio cards because um for some reason, my system had put them up a little bit more than actually what they were for the um, booster boxes. So those will be changed today. Um, and the magic gather in the end the magic the gathering cards or boosters will be changed today as well. Um, the pricing, so I just got to lower that down a bit. I don't know what happened, but <coughs> I've got some really nice Disney figures up there, and they are 
absolutely amazing. You know what? Like they're a really nice collection. I have fairy bones. No, not a lot of people like. <clears throat> I know people like. I know like a lot like most alternate community knows what fairy bones is. Like fairy bones are like these cute little skull figurines that you know sit about this high and like they like dressed in all different things. Um, you know, and they're just, they're adorable. Like I've got a I've got a collection myself. Um, I've got them sitting on my coffin shelves. You know, they make a really nice little addition to my coffin shelves, which is which is you know it kind of just brings everything out in my room. Um, so I've got those up, and I'm you know I'm adding every time I find like every time something new comes out or. I've missed something in the fairy bones collection. I'll be like I'm adding it in because um, I'm always on the hunt because I absolutely love those figurines. They're very popular. Um, they're a very popular figurine um, because they're just so damn adorable. But they're just they're so goth at the same time. So um, you know, keep a look out for those guys. They're really they they they're like they're worth the buy. They really are. Um, I've got plushies of them as well. Um, I'm getting, I've got an addiction to those. I was, I really want to get some of those. I'm like waiting for PD. I'm like waiting for PD. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've, um, I've cut, I've like, I've cut all sources with my previous suppliers. Just due to the fact I was getting so much flack on my eBay channel because of the delivery time. It was just ridiculous. Um. I more or less you know I would send it out it would so you know they would they would on their end they would be sending it guys but I would have people that would get really frustrated with the, with the speed of the delivery and I lost out on I lost out on a lot of income because these people were coming back that couldn't wait um, requesting refunds and it was just chaos so um, I did I put I really just, I just cut them all, it wasn't, it wasn't due to fault of their own, it was just my decision to do, um, I'm going with a supplier now who, um, the shipping is extremely fast, um, it benefits Australia, uh, uh, like, it benefits Australia quite a bit, and it benefits, um, and, and, it, and the US, because some of my, like, majority of my shipping is coming from the US. Um, and even if you are in Australia, it's so fast. Um, with my old shipping, it was, you'd have to wait, probably at least, you know. Um, it just depends, though. It's like 10, 15 days max. Maybe, or maybe 30. It just doesn't, it, don't, it, 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 it like I said, it varies, guys. That was my old shipping. Now, my new shipping is I have bought, like I bought several products myself from off this supplier. And I don't even have to wait five days. Um, I'm, I think the longest I have gone is five days, but I think it's because I, I ordered it on the weekend, like I, on the Friday. So, um, it's very fast and very efficient and, and very reliable and I'm really happy with that. I'm sticking with that. I'm not changing anymore because I'm sick of going, you know, I'm sick of changing. Like I'm sick of going like at one place and then changing to another place and it's kind of like my hair. Like <laughs> I change this hair, like I change this so often. Uh, when, you next, when you guys see me next, this will be all different. But um, that's just me. But I'm sticking with this company, and it's really good. I've had very, very, very satisfied, happy customers off eBay now, which is really good. Um, I went be I went the other day. I went above and beyond for a customer of mine, and if she does see this, hey. Um, so what happened was she ordered an EV like because I sell Pokemon Plush because they're quite popular on my eBay channel. Like they 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 sell. Um, because I sell them in bundles, so she, um, but this isn't the bundle that I'm talk, talking about, I'm talking about this one particular Eevee, she had ordered, but for some reason the payment didn't come through, like, it on my invoice, it just showed 
like like paid but nothing there was nothing there so i like i'm like i can't order this this ev because it there's no money there to order it with so um what happened was i'd contacted her and just let her know you know can you go through ebay blah 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 um she was really nice to communicate with and was understanding i love i love customers like this these are the customers that i go above and beyond for because they have got manners and respect um you know like it just goes a long way these days it's just as respect goes a long way um yeah um and then so she's like oh it does show that it's gone through as paid and um you know she didn't know what was going on and i'm like hey listen you know what i'm just i'm i'm gonna just i'm gonna order this eevee for you because i i really don't want you to miss out on this eevee like I really, you know, I really think that um, th this person was legitimately just polite and legitimately nice. So I bought the Eevee for her and I sent it over and she received it and she was very happy with it. Um, you know, this should be more retail. Yeah, okay, it comes out of my pocket, guys. But, you know, this, this, this girl, you know, she was very nice, very understanding. And I just, I just felt compelled just to to rectify the problem because there obviously was a system problem obviously like the money possibly went through it didn't show up and i and i'd spent it i don't know um i don't use my business account other than for business but it could have went on something else um so i tried chasing that up myself and i don't know it was just some sort of system error um but I'm really, really glad that she's happy with the EV that she received because um, that was my very last order from the um, old supplier of mine. Um, and she didn't have to wait too long. I kept her updated on shipping all the time. Um, you know, and I would just message her like at the end of each week. Oh, yeah, it's in customs now. Cool. You know, it's not going to be too long. You know, just kept her updated just so she knew it was coming. It was giving her reassurance, reassurance that it was coming. And when she got it, she was absolutely over the moon. Um, I get better tracking number systems with the new, new supplier I go through. Um, the tracking is fantastic. Um, when you first place an order, if you, if you're ordering th through eBay with me, like all my products won't be on there because I'm not at the, the seller's limit where I can list everything. I can list like about 104 of my 3000 plus products. Um, so I only, like, I put the kind of, like, the best-selling kind of ones out or ones that, you know, I think may have potential of best sale. Best, best sale. Anyway, um, I, I, I order it for the customer it's on my end when I get the order on eBay. Now, eBay is a little bit tricky because they hold on to funds until, like, they hold on to a certain amount of funds until the customer receives their item so i've got funds in ebay on hold at this point of time i i can't get out because until that product is in, and you know delivered and the customer has the product they're on hold just in case something happens and a refund's needed and you know it's just more or less ebay's insurance policy um so i put the order through um with my company my supplier um sometimes i have to um adjust it you know because in in you know, if if stock if a certain things out of stock and they failed to like i've i didn't realize i have to like i have to replace it with the same or similar just like every other company but that's never actually had to happen so um then I have to wait for payment, like at least some of the payment from eBay. So then like it's sitting there like and you think, oh, you know, have, have, they, have they fulfilled it? You know, am I going to get my order? You are going to, you are going to get your order. Um, normally I do mark it as fulfilled on like my website end and it'll go through and like you'll get a, uh, an email and it'll say it's been fulfilled. But it, when it says it's been fulfilled, it has not been shipped that's i think where everyone like that's where a lot of people i think are getting the miscommunication um of it not you know of waiting for their things 
um, the payment process has to go through. It has a process. And then um, once I pay for the, your order um, on my supplier's end, then they dispatch it. So um, I've got my like payment set to daily um, payouts on eBay. It, it, it gets, it's getting there. Um, you know, it goes and, you know, it, it's just sometimes it's a little bit, it's a little bit lagging, but, um, it's been really good lately. So, um, fingers crossed because I really hate disappointing people. Like when I, if I disappoint my customers, it really, it, it, it gets me down a lot. I like, um, I like to kind of like, I, I want to live by like my Raven Co model, you know, like to, I want to give shoppers the best experience possible, sh you know, shopping experience possible. And I failed one customer, but it wasn't like, I, it wasn't me directly, but it was my old supplier. And that's why I, would, I cut with the old, one of the reasons, well, like I said before, it wasn't a fault of their own because my old supplier was in China um mainland china um that's where most of my stock like most of my stock that i was i had this stuff on my site was was stored um i do sell doc martens um i was iffy with china with their doc martens um to be honest and i did i did warn customers just like i'm not too sure that if these are authentic doc martens they say Dr. Martins. I can't tell for sure. So I, I'm an honest person. So I will tell, I will tell my clients if I think something's not authentic, I'm just going to tell them outright. If it costs me a sale, it costs me a sale. I would rather have, you know, I would rather be honest with my clients than ship something out and them, and them saying, oh, wait, wait, this isn't authentic, you know, and it, the flat comes back on me. Um, because I haven't personally seen the item myself. So that's more or less how I operate. Um, if it's, if I don't think it's authentic, I just tell you, um, that's just how I am. Always will be. Yeah. It probably costs me money. I'm probably going to be at the bottom of the food chain for quite a while because of that reason. But, um, it, it makes me a better person at the end of the day. And that's all that matters. So, um, Yeah. <laughs> I've got Pokemon cards up. Um. Anyway, about Doc Martens, they were there was at the time, and it was it did not work in my favour. There was international shipping delays because there was a COVID outbreak in China, um, off the mainland, and it affected a lot of shipping. And I had this person practically abusing me. Like, where am I? Where's my Doc Martens? Where's my um, you know, no matter how many times, like I told, I like eBay understood, like because I, I, I'd actually shown eBay, like because eBay sees everything on there, and and I, and I, I sent them confirmation that it had been sent. It is, it's there. Um, they just kept opening disputes up, like on eBay, and they're like, okay, okay, like you. Know, I just ended up getting sick of it, and I'm like, I said, I, I messaged eBay, and I said, hey. Um, give this picture, just, just give this person a refund, um, minor shipping and, um, be done with it. But, and so the shoes are delivered or they're on their way. Like they're probably, yeah, probably there today, most likely. And they got free Doc Martens for being a rude person and not being able to just be patient and, um, it kind of tick, it really it, it it annoys me it does it really it kind of ticks me off but um i've you know anyway and it it soured a lot of soured a lot on e ebay like you get you get these people like every so often that come and, and they just want to just it happens in retail everywhere you know you get this one person one person that you know just has to ruin it you know, a nice experience because of their impatience. So, but it, it's all good. Like I've been one of those people too. Like we've all been one of those people. Like, you know, we want something, you know, we're really excited for something to get delivered. And like, you know, you're waiting and waiting and it's taking ages and you're like, oh, where's my package? We, yeah, I get it. 
I get it. I get both sides of it. But, you know, and I never got the retail side of it, like, until I became a retail. <laughs> and um, it made me feel really crappy that, you know, that I potentially could have made a person's day crappy because I was impatient myself. So I don't deal with that anymore. Let's just say that. I th you know, the saying, you don't know what a person's going through in unless you experience it experience it yourself that's it so you know you guys good retailers just just this little, little bit of a break hey because you know you'll get people out there if you're nice and you you know and you're understanding these people will go beyond above and beyond for you as a retailer is as, as, as best as they as, as they possibly can as a retailer to help you so you know keep you calm and, you know, and it gets you a long way. It really does. Um, I've had people ask about local, my local stock, about trying on, uh, like trying on items. I, I, I don't, I knew it was going to really come up to an issue with this because um, with punk rave sizing is, is slightly different to normal sizing. And yes, I understand that. Um, but a lot of you are going to have to go by what I, what I describe it to you as, because I've looked at the samples of these sizings. So I'm pretty, I've got a pretty good, I've got a really pretty good idea of what sizing, um, would fit what, if your normal size was like small. And then like, I looked at a, like, I'm like, I looked at this, the, the certain item of clothing you wanted from Punk Crave, but I'm like, well, you're better to order a medium because a small is an extra small and it's and yeah and a small is like it, it's sometimes it, it's difficult and like I understand the wanting to try on part but I'm a home-based business and um I also rent so I was, I, I'm not at my own property anymore squatters are at the moment unfortunately but you get that but long story um yeah um, I can't have, like, I, I, I'd been doing a, a like, of a, a course, like, a, in a, like an appointment sort of arrangement, um, you know, click and collect, they'd come in, they'd come in the back of my property here, because I've got my garage, they'd be coming to pick up their items, and then they'd be going. I probably can have, down the track, um, an opportunity for people to try on clothes. I don't, at the moment, feel comfortable with doing it when I am just one person. Um, if I have somebody here, a staff member, I can potentially get that done. Um, it's just at this point, I'm going to have to say, I'm sorry guys, you're gonna to have to just rely on what I say with this sizing thing. Um, message me, I'll do my ultimate best for you guys to, to you know, um, help you out with sizing for now. It's like buying offline. I mean, online, sorry. You don't know what you get until you get it. Um, it's just going to be like that for a while. I'm putting my boundaries in place with it, with that. Um, I I did say yes to one woman, and um, I will I will keep that promise. Um, she just had to go away, um, and that's fine. Um, so I will let her try on what she needs to try on. Um, but after that, I'm um, just until I can get a staff member. Um, it's for my own, it's for my own protection, my pro the property's protection, my my stock's protection. Um, I'm insured, so I'm like, I've got third party insurance, I've got insurance, I've got all that sort of stuff. It just makes me feel better. Um, like I have a security there. So, um, you know. It, it, it's like buying online guys uh, with Raven Co local yeah you get it quick like you get it same day but you you have to like research into what size you are in in um punk, in punk rave I'm sorry but um I know some like I said some some are different some like sizing are different than others um I've got the pushing up daisies dress at the moment and that is so popular at the moment um I, a girlfriend of mine was over on the weekend and she loves that dress and really wants that dress and she's like can you please hold me this dress 
I'm holding her this dress. <laughs> um, and she was, yeah, she loves it. It's, um, if you haven't seen it, um, just go onto my website and have a look, guys. It's, it's pretty. It's really pretty. I've got it in red, a uh, red plaid and yellow plaid. And I'm, I've never had yellow plaid. And I think, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get yellow plaid. Like, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to rock this yellow plaid. I like it. Um, you know, I don't normally, that yellow is not usually my go to, um, in plaid or anything. But this yellow is just so nice. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll wear it in the video and I'll show you guys one day. It's really nice. Um, I've got a few lingerie items and they're really cute. They are so cute, um, ladies. So, um, message me. I, I do have photos up on my, on my Raven Co. local on my Facebook. Not my actual Raven Co. That's my official. That's like, well, they're both my official, but that's my main website for my website. People that want to go onto my website. Raven Co. Local is just for Ipswich and Brisbane Metro. Um, so look up Raven, Raven Co. Raven Co. <laughs> Raven Co. Local if you are in Brisbane Metro area. Um, I will be getting better photos. Um, my photographer was away for a while and I have to pay my photographer, my beautiful, lovely photographer, Robin, um, from Sky Photography. I have to pay her to fully to get photos done um professionally of my products which i don't mind doing because she, her she does really quality work um so um once i get you know once i get it like save up a bit of money um it will be going to her to take some really nice quality photos of my products um so you'll have a, like a better view of them on my raven co local page um and my jewelry my jewelry i uh, I'm going to start wearing some of this jewelry for you guys for videos because like I don't think like videos and photos and they just don't do this stuff justice because it looks so beautiful in person so you know I'll I'll see what I can do so there'll be more like I, I've been slack with my YouTube videos I know you guys and I apologize for that I've had a lot, a lot of heavy things going on in my life and I'm juggling a business at the same time. So it gets a little bit hard. So um, I'm also selling Pandora as well. Yes, and it is real Pandora. It's authentic. It is actually from Pandora. So um, I've got Pandora Disney. Um, I do have Marvel Pandora and Star Wars Pandora. They're kind of like mixed in with the Pandora charms on my Facebook page. Um, if you go onto my main website, like through um, Google Play or iOS store, it'll just be under Pandora um, Disney. Um, I'm not sure if the Marvel's in there, so Marvel might be still in with my, because I haven't got to that, like building a website on your own takes a long time and there's only so many hours in the day and my health's pretty bad at the moment. Um, um just i'm seeing specialists and stuff so um because i've got insomnia i don't sleep very well and it's affecting it's affecting me in every way possible so um yeah i'm getting all that looked at so i just like i, I got to cut down my work at night so because i was working from nine o'clock until 3 a.m every morning and just like on on this website like you know i, I ha i've had a bit of help from um an outside partner that had um that had experience that that's linked with um Wix who I go through to build the website they have set my um other settings up and stuff for me um helped me a bit with design um I just decided with design side of things I need to go with me and it, it just express me I, like I would like I like I made the navigation a little bit easier for people because I didn't want my navigation to be too mixed up like I wanted people to find stuff so I've, I do have a mega menu now so um if you're looking for like certain things there's like a like you'll click on women and then like there'll be like a drop down and then you know you'll be able to like pick from those and you'll be able to see like oh yeah women's tops so you'll you know you'll pick that and then you'll it'll take you to women's tops and uh, it's just a little bit more simplified it's like a big me mega menu um i've got halloween stuff on there um which is um from my new supplier but time's running out guys um 
even if like you need to if you want to order halloween stuff off me right it'll have to be within today or tomorrow um sector um unless you wanted to pay extra for priority shipping um you know that's like next day um two, like two days basically you get it so um the standard shipping it would be you know it probably might be like three to four and like i said possibly five so if you want to order anything from me that's halloween um today and tomorrow would be the the cutoff point like if you wanted to do standard shipping i tried looking at a harley quinn costume because i want to go as harley quinn um this year i don't know what it is i like i've always loved harley quinn um but i've never dressed up as harley quinn and i thought oh you know hey i so want to do harley quinn this year and i, I thought oh, that's gonna be so awesome but um i could not find on um one that would come here quick enough so i'm gonna have to just be satisfied with just doing something else i went as a crow last year um i love that movie that's like i love it of course you know it's crow everything so yeah i yeah anyway but um i got funko pops too guys um flocked uh special editions um nothing overly ridiculously priced and i uh, only for the naruto kumara glow in the dark yellow um there's not many of those around anymore um they're limited they're very limited the glow in the dark ones i'm talking about not just the regular ones these are the ones the glow in the dark ones they're, they're exclusives and that that's fair that's a that's a that's a like a, a big price on on that one um i have sold pop figures in the past for $850 plus um so you know it's petty change to some people but um when you're like on there and you're looking like oh my god like how can this person charge so much for this pop um it's because this pop's worth it so um I just wanted to put that out there um I've got like serious collectors it's for serious collectors um and yeah like i said in earlier on uh if i don't think a price is fair which i i do have to adjust the magic gathering um po some of the pokemons and yukio cards i have to like touch up them um other than it's only a couple of booster boxes it's not it's not every one of them because um i have booster boxes from 2006 that are worth a lot of money and i've got a collector's box where you can get a card that is worth you've got the chances of getting a card that's worth twenty five thousand dollars and um that's no lie um i have that on um uh, actually at the moment yeah no i do have it because it, it's um but if any if any of those if any of my products right are out of stock I will have pre-order available. So if you want that particular item, pre-order it. You're down as pre-order, your priority. You get you get this item first before anyone else that orders like when it comes in stock. You get it first. No one else but you. So pre-orders are priority orders. So um I'm just stating that guys. So if I run out of stock or something, it'll still be stocked up there, but it'll have an option for pre-order. So pre-order it. Um, I've got Harry Potter stuff. Harry Potter um, charms, Pandora charms as well. Um, Harry Potter merchandise, Harry Potter books, um, limited editions. Um, I, looks like I, I know that there's so many people. Oh, I sell in the UK as well on... Um, ebay and over in uk of course harry potter is very popular so um that's a bit of a hit over in the uk um and i know like i know like of heaps of people like that i know personally or have known personally that love harry potter as well i've got lego i've got the harry potter legos um i've got Hag i've got a pop figure of hagrid and it's like it's a big one and it's like it's him and his pet and his house I'm pretty sure his pet's in it you know the 
I, you know what I'm talking about if you're, a Harry, if you're a Harry Potter fan. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. What did he name it? Fluffy? Or something like cutesy. Like it, like it, it, like you wouldn't think that he'd, like it would be named that. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's with him. I think, wasn't it the Griffin or something? Griffin? The Griffin or something? Anyway, that's there. Um, I'm tempted to buy that on myself. Um, I, I want to buy a lot of things that I've got up there. I've put a secret, I, I've got, a, I've put a secret, secret separate section for Pokemon plushies. Um, I've got some in Gothic plushies at the moment, but on my Facebook, it's that'll be under Pokemon plushies. Um, I do bundles. I will be going through and I will be doing bundling of those eventually. Sometimes the supplier, the supplier I go through for the Pokemon plushies, um, they do bundles and like I just use their bundles. I'm like, oh yeah, cool, awesome. But, um, I individually can do bundles myself as well. Um, perks, perks owning a business. Um, the Snorlax is actually quite popular. It's actually getting quite popular at the moment. Everyone's loving the Snorlax, and like I've got it like a, a jumbo version of the Snorlax on my on my site and um, Facebook. You'll see it. Um, it's not on my eBay, but it's on my main website. Um, I'm getting on, I had an issue with PayPal that's getting, that's getting rectified today. Um, I'm still taking Afterpay. I'm still taking Stripe, um, you know, all major, um, credit cards, debit cards. Um, that's all through secure payment systems, Stripe. I don't deal with that myself. Um, it's actually just, it's Stripe itself. Like, so if you use like a debit card, it goes to Stripe and then Stripe does all its stuff. So I don't have anything to do with it. PayPal, exactly the same, sits in my business, PayPal, yeah, I, I have nothing to do with it. Um, so, yeah, basically, um, Pokemon, yeah, the, Pokemon will be forever popular, it always will be forever, forever popular. Pokemon's that, that popularity that will never die, like, same with Harry Potter, um, will always be popular. Um, you know, you, you get that, that period where it dies down just a little bit, but then it peaks because something new comes out. And then all the, all the stuff that before that was that, especially in trading cards, um, that was kind of like ignored to begin with. It peaks, like you get that slight rise in it, um, always happens. And, um, I'm trying to, like, I'm, I'm keeping up with trying to keep up the latest versions, which is easier now because my daughter's totally, like, she does the whole Pokemon trading cards and her boyfriend does all that as well. So they're, like, keeping me up to date on the newest one, newest packs that are coming out. So then I'd be going onto my supplier and I'd be going, blah, blah, and then, yep, yeah, I'd be listing it, which makes that part easier. Magic, that, Magic the Gathering, on the other hand, um, is a little bit harder because I don't play that personally myself um and like i know of the, i know of it because of my ex-husband um had a pack himself but i don't really personally know much else about magic the gathering so um i go by you know what what information i'm told um yeah so i will be adjusting those prices though because some of the some of the boosters i've got aren't worth what the price is on there um i have to lower them a bit especially you know they're like the smaller booster ones uh, i don't know what you guys call them guys um they are boosters but um i don't know there's some sort of packs that that magic gathering the gathering players call them they're like they're smaller they're not the big boxes like i've got the big boxes and they're they're worth a bit but th these 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 ones are like a small one I think they're like toppers or something. Um, so yeah, they'll they'll be adjusted those prices. So like, don't like wig out when you log on and be like, oh, you know, um, I'm getting there. Um, I will. There's no negotiations, guys. On um, there is on like I do negotiations on my um eBay, and I'll go as low as I can for eBay because that's a little bit different. But on my website, there's no negotiate no negotiations, guys. It's what you see is what you have to pay for. Um, but 
if you yeah if you go onto my ebay if you see something i like like something i like so oh, i like all my stuff but something you like on ebay um by all means guys um I like, you know, put an offer in if, um, or ne if you want to negotiate, um, I can only go so much because I have to, you have to, I've got to consider shipping and I have to make a profit. Like I, <laughs> I need to make a profit because there's no, there's no, there's no, um, there's no point of, on selling then because like we've got to make a profit. So I have to, I have to put these factors into account. I some sometimes I can actually put it lower than um I'm like lower than I'm comfortable with um for people in Australia only because Australia only some products are free like I've got free shipping for um it all depends on the product. So I have room to negotiate for Australians um, only. So worldwide, I'm sorry, but um, I have to, yeah, I have to put that tax. So, um, you know, I have to, I have to like, I have got, to, I've got to earn a living. I've got a family as well as everyone knows who have been following me. Um yeah, so I we gotta eat guys so <laughs> um I wanna do another video like I wanna do another video um for YouTube um I'll be posting this video on my on my Facebook pages um but I I wanna do another like exclusive YouTube video oh this will be on YouTube as well but I'll like I wanna do another exclusive one where I'm sharing my screen so I can go through a lot of the processes of things with people that may not understand um how things work on my website um I kind of like really should kind of do it by my phone like because most people use their phone when they go onto my like to the website I'm encouraging everybody though and it's so much more easier it is really easy to download my app off Google Play in iOS so I'm got to double check with iOS iOS should be still fine but it might just have the older version of my um, app on there at this point of time uh, I'm not sure um, if it, my my person on the other side is going to be looking at that today. So, but iOS and Google Play, look for Raven Co. Gothic Clothing. It'll be there. You'll see my logo there. Um, I hope you guys like the logo change, by the way. Um, it just expresses me and my business just, you know, it perfectly. So that's going to be my permanent logo now. Um, so yeah, just check it out um, on Google Play or iOS. It, and it, purchasing via my app is a lot easier. It is so easy. Um, it's just like you know you go on to Shen. Like that's like Shine Shen. Um, I always I always pronounce it wrong, and like literally my my daughter is just laughs at me every time but um it's just like that going on you know in ordering off that it's it's like online ordering like you know it should be so so easy um there will be times though where you'll probably see and it depends on how tired i am you'll go into like a section where it'll be like um let's just say funko pop and you'll see like random other things like in there yeah, I apologize for that because, like, I end, I end up fixing it the next day. But, yeah, just ignore that if you see that. That's, <laughs> um, that's just a tired and run down and just, yeah, it's just, that's just that thing. So um, it's hard. It's hard for developing your own stuff and living and trying to have a social life. And, try, and parenting at the same time and then you've got so much stuff going on in your life in the background that is just overwhelming you yeah so oh yeah there um i need i need to save up for advertisement uh, i am looking for ambassadors guys and you do get privileges of being an ambassador um 
you get you get exclusive discounts that nobody else gets so you will always have a permanent discount to buy from my store um you will get in a draw to win stuff you know like each month my ambassadors um once i get a few ambassadors to do my social media spreadage and um you know even like there'll be even times where you guys will be sent out products to wear and review yourself if you want um yeah you, you get these privileges um like who wouldn't want to have these privileges so they're there for you guys um and because I'm having I'm having a lot of setbacks, but, you know, because I've got a family I'm renting at the moment and I'm one person. So I try to advertise as much as I possibly can, but Facebook charge an arm and a leg. Um, Instagram charges an arm and a leg. I, I, TikTok's not too bad. Um, it's just, you know, getting myself out there. Um, so like I said, I am looking for ambassadors. The ambassador, that's open. Um, there is a form there on my website, um, become an ambassador, fill that out. I will contact you. Um, and it's easy. You don't have, all you have to do is spread, it's spread my, my company brand awareness around on, on social media. Um, talk to people like, you know, Hey, look, look, this, 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 look, this door, you know, make me known around and do you get benefits from it it's so easy like um i do it for certain shops myself like you know um so it's just it's really easy it's really good it's really easy um and you get benefits who wouldn't who wouldn't want benefits so yeah anyway I'm going to wrap this video up because, like, I've been raving on for about 46, 47 minutes now. So, um, I just thought I'd update everyone because, like, yeah, I've been scarce and I apologize. Um, I've just got a lot going on. I've got a lot of people. There's a lot of evil people in the world. Let's just say this. A lot of evil people. And I've really opened my eyes up to the fact of that in the, in the recent few years now. And, um people that you know I, I can't wrap my head around I I, I try and, and it it mentally drives me nuts so um I, I try not to think about it but I think the problem is that we're all not thinking about it is that's the problem and we're not looking out properly for it but there are really there are people out there that just want to see the world burn so you know stay safe make the right decisions and I'll catch you guys next time See ya.